Hey there, Z here from SP Gym down in Stockport. You're about to watch a video featuring SP client Alison. And before Alison joined SP, she used to train three or four times a week, so fairly regularly, and she thought she was doing everything correctly. However, unfortunately, her results had started to stall, and she was frustrated and disappointed with the lack of progress she was seeing. She also struggled with poor range of movement, she was very inflexible and tight, and she struggled to perform certain key movements correctly. I want to introduce you today to Alison, so please watch the video and go and check it out right now. I'm Alison, I'm 36 and I'm a paediatrician. Thank you. And before you joined S&P, Alison, uh, what kind of training did you do? Well, I thought I knew what I was doing with training. I've got a reasonable understanding of physiology and sort of how exercise works and how it benefits the body. So I was training at a commercial gym, mm -hmm. which is where I met Sean and Z. And I kind of thought I knew what I was doing. I was training three, four times a week. I'd seen results, then they'd sort of tailed off. Mm -hmm. um, I was very much a vanity exerciser. I went to the gym because I wanted to look better and be a bit slimmer. Um, I would do cardio, I'd do weights, but I'd put the time in and I'd sort of stopped seeing results. And then I saw a poster advertising taster PT sessions. So I did um, a taster PT with Z. It was completely different to anything I'd done before. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it was a bit short and I thought I won't ever see results with that. But then the next day I really paid for it. I, feel definite muscles I'd not worked for a long time mm -hmm. that were aching so I thought I'd sign up for 10 sessions of PT but midway through he left the commercial gym to set up SMP <laughs> and I came with him. Right okay <laughs> okay so what we tell me about um, so the encouragement to join SMP literally was the fact that you knew Z and Sean already yeah you were having PT sessions with Z and then just decided I like this guy I'm gonna follow him to his, his new venture um, tell me about your, do you have any fears about joining S&P? Like, I kind of, I did a little bit because it was the unknown, probably very different to people's fears from joining now. Mm -hmm. I didn't have fears about what the other people at the gym would be like because there was literally only one other person at that point. But I did come to the bare concrete warehouse on the first day and think, what have I let myself? in for and a lot has changed since obviously those, those yeah. many years ago um so in comparison to then what's the gym like now um i think the gym it sounds like a cliche but the gym really is a family everyone works together as a team we all support each other we all want everyone's success equally mm -hmm. to our own and it's just a fantastic atmosphere to work out in mm -hmm. i started off as a vanity exerciser I exercise purely because I wanted to look better. Mm -hmm. Through my time at SMP, I've started enjoying exercise and I miss it now if I can't do it mm -hmm. for some reason. And part of that is the exercise that we do here with our training. And part of it, I think, is that camaraderie and that mm -hmm. team spirit and how much fun each session is once you get over the initial feeling of wanting to die at the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> so, Tell me about what you were struggling with before you did join S&P. So why you took up those PT sessions with Z initially, um, what was going on with you? Um, well, I think I'd stopped seeing results with the training that I was doing mm -hmm. myself. And I just wanted a bit of a change and mm -hmm. to get a bit of a kickstart. I was going on holiday, wanted to lose a few pounds. But I think the biggest change I've had since training at SMP was things that I didn't even realise were a problem beforehand. I had lots of sort of niggly backache, hip pains. Mm -hmm. I wasn't very flexible, but I thought that was just the way I was mm -hmm. and there was nothing that could be done about that. But with the sort of mobility work and the training I've done at SMP, yeah. that all those aches and pains have completely gone. I'm so much more flexible, my range of movement's better, my posture's better. So I've sort of fixed a problem I didn't really know I had. Right. So that's really touched upon the next question, yeah. which is sort of what results have you experienced since joining S&P? So more flexibility, like you've mentioned, and to tell me more. Um, well, I think I'm the lightest weight that I've ever been in my adult life since sort of before going to university yeah. and I've been able to maintain that for years. Mm -hmm. um, my posture is better, my whole body looks sort of sleeker, slimmer, more toned but I think the biggest result I've had from training with SMP is I've had two babies in less than two years mm -hmm. and I think I look pretty much exactly the same 
after that as I did at the beginning and kind of can't really give it any higher praise than that. Brilliant. Um, so with regards to sort of um, your personal bests, would you want to talk about those? Um, I think some of my personal bests probably sound fairly fe feeble in compared to some others. Um, one of my recent personal bests, which was kind of a long sort after goal, was doing a body weight press up mm -hmm. with good form um, and just sort of slowly chipping away at that. Um, being able to do a squat with good form as well has mm -hmm. taken a good few years. Mm -hmm. But there's to doing, get to. doing a squat and there's doing a squat, like you said, with good form. Yeah. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. So, um, so you can probably testament to the, very, the few inches of squat I could do at the beginning compared to a, a not quite full range, but certainly getting there squat that I can do now. Due to you being more flexible? More flexible, yeah. stronger throughout that sort of flexibility as well. But it's sort of just seeing little steps. But I still, after seven years of coming to SMP, still mm -hmm. feel that I'm improving all the time. Um, so, <laughs> with regards to SMP, um, what does it mean to you? Well, I think SMP. It's more than just coming to a gym. Mm -hmm. I've met friends here. Who people who've supported me through some really rubbish times in my life. It's made me enjoy exercising. Um, it's completely changed my body. It sounds like a cliche, but I, I just consider people here to be my friends and mm -hmm. I enjoy coming here and I enjoy seeing the same friendly faces and the smiles at the beginning of training and then the sort of exhausted high fives at the end. <laughs> and again, how have we helped you? So some major breakthroughs in your health or physique? Um, well, I think my sort of biggest breakthrough was probably having two children and then very quickly getting back to the way I was before having children, mm -hmm. looking very similar to how I did beforehand. I remember one of my one of the friends I made through having a baby who would regularly meet for coffee saying I don't understand why you go to the gym with a young baby you've lost your baby weight and really couldn't understand that you would enjoy exercise you'd enjoy seeing those people and probably missed the point that the reason I had lost the baby weight was the fact that I went to the gym and had carried on doing that mm -hmm. um, and SMP have also supported me to exercise through three pregnancies and I think have had a fantastic level of knowledge and expertise that have helped me do that safely. Brilliant. Um, so why do you think S&P is different to anywhere else? We think it's a combination of different things. The coaches are really skilled at what they do. They know exactly how hard they can work you, um, exactly when they need to slack off. Mm -hmm. They have a fantastic understanding of how exercise and the body works and how to get the best out of people. Mm -hmm. um, but they do that with a fantastic attitude. Um, they have a way of making you do things that you think, oh, I don't really want to do that, but somehow you found that you've done it. And they create the, fa the fantastic family atmosphere mm -hmm. that you want to support Mm -hmm. Everyone else in the gym, they all support you. And when you're having that moment where you think you can't or you think you can't be bothered, there's always someone who picks you up and gets you going and gives you that kick up the ass to get going. Brilliant. Um, so just tell me just a little bit about the way you feel now, gym-wise, compared to before you started S&P. So just how has it affected your life outside the gym or the things that you can do now within the gym? Well, I think in some ways it's made me a bit of a gym Nazi. I see people doing stuff with bad form and I want to rush over and tell them to stop doing that and do this or regress back a weight if they can't do it with proper form. Um, but I think it's given me a lot more energy for sort of everyday physical activities with young children. Mm -hmm. um, I don't worry about what I look like particularly. Um, Thank you. And just finally, what would you say to someone who has who is thinking of joining S and P? I think people think that everyone in the gym is going to be stronger, faster, fitter, better than they are, and that happened because they were naturally somehow born that way. Whereas everyone started somewhere, mm -hmm. um, and most people can remember our first day at S and P and struggling to complete things that we can do easily now, um, and. I think people worry that they'll come to the gym, they'll be judged, mm -hmm. um, 
Whereas it really isn't like that. Everyone supports everyone. Everyone wants to push people, but only in a very positive way. And whatever your goals are, people here will help you get there. And there'll be someone who's been in exactly the same position as you. For some people, it was years ago. For some people, it was last week. But there'll always be someone who can give you that helping hand. That's brilliant. Uh, that's great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wow, what an inspiring story there from Alison. And you can clearly see how we've helped her move from this real place of frustration and she's finally starting to achieve all her deepest dreams, goals and desires. Now, if anything you've watched has really resonated with you, or maybe if you'd like to experience some of the results that Alison has, has received on our programme, then what I'd urge you to do right now is have a look on this page. Somewhere on it you'll find a link to, a, to apply for one of our programmes. If you fill the details in there, Send it back to us and we'll call you ASAP to discuss how we can help you move from this point of frustration you may be currently experiencing and push you in the right direction and move you to a much happier, more fulfilled place. So fill that, those details in right now for us and we'll be in touch ASAP. This is Z from SP Gym down in Stockport saying take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.